Oh, right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to, of course, the EVT Week 6 versus Automatic. Probably my one toughest game, really, when it comes to prepping Mele because he needs to win a lot more than I need to win, and uh, that makes it rather tough to be right. Um, so, with that said, you know, we're going into game, no team builder this time either, and there's a lot to do with. He is a future opponent, and I really don't want to reveal too much. Let's see the team. Yeah, looks about it. Like, basically, I was preparing for Cinderace, Drapion, Rotom, Mo, Necrozma, and Conkeldur, and then the rest was kind of up there, whether or not how viable they were. But this is, this looks the part. Um, I guess one Pokemon kind of surprised not to see was uh, Gastrodon. Which was a Pokemon I was feeling was kind of rough on me, but um, I'm glad I don't see it. As I do recognize that the team I'm having would have been really great had um, had I gotten um, a different set on my uh, uh, Primarina. I'm just going to write down the team, mainly because I want to um, get a feel for what I'm fending off against. Mr. Mime, or Mr. Rhyme, actually, um, leading off with Conk, I think is right, or Orbeetle. I'm leading off with Desotroya. I don't believe it's too bad of a play. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean... I have really not much more to say. I am worried about this matchup because Automatic is re actually a really good player, and um, he he's very good at playing longer games, which is something I'm not. <laughs> so I'm always getting stressed south of that. That's right, Ronaldinho makes a ton of sense. Sending in Destroya, um, he could carry in. Uh, High jump kick, but more likely, I would say that he would use, um, um, what do call it, U turn here. Um, I think Stone Edge is my play. I'll take it from there. Goes for U turns, that's alright. Shouldn't do that much. It does fit, actually. But I want to see Rotom comes in, but Conkildur is also a Pokemon I feel comes in naturally. Everything comes in naturally. Let's see, <laughs> Voltergeist. There you go. Stone Edge. Oof. That would be nice to connect. But it's okay. At least we know Rotom is his switch in. I think it would have gone for a Will O Wisp here. We are a Salt Wisp, but I'm not too keen with an Onyx and Spiral Leaf Storm. So let's see. Leaf Storm, Dago. That'd be alright. I have reason to believe he's scarfed. But, uh, Scarfed or, um, or he could just be bulky. One thing that worries me is if it is, um, Scarf variant with the potential of having trick. So this switch out, let's see, his switch in here is gains. So that's unfortunate. He isn't flame or whatever. That's actually good. So more likely it's a salt vest. And I think knockoff is his play. There we go, a salt vest. There we go, knockoff, cool.
We just recover that, right? I think it brings in Drapion here. One thing I was kind of... Um, I regret now that I did it, but uh, it would have been nice if I actually had... Uh, um, what do you call it? Um, Psy Shock. So right, we're somewhat bulky, so depending on his set, I think we could do a fair chunk with Bug Bus, but he will always outspeed me. Right, keeps knockoffing. It does roughly over half, doesn't it? Lots of special defense, but next knockoff will kill us. Don't switch any well at all here. Yeah, I'm sacking here. Basically, I, I don't feel that comfortable. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it's just that I don't believe I am good enough spot to pressure my opponent naturally. Plus, I'm really tired. <laughs> Uh, is it, we're playing rather late, so you know, I'm kind of stressed out about that. But I'll, I'll think we, I'll think we'll manage somehow. Let's see, Mr. Rhyme. That's gonna be tough, no matter what, really. That didn't do a whole lot. Is he a salt vest too? He's gonna freeze right away, though. We'll see what he does, but that's, that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, free strike. We're just gonna take this rod or well. And uh, we're gonna go for that free knockoff, I believe. Even though I believe Conkelder is a pretty decent switch in here. He does switch out at least. Goes to Midnight. Alright, Necrosma. I actually forgot about him. Let's see. Craft leftovers. That's good. Could assume Rocks comes here. Toxic, alright. That I didn't expect. Let's see if we can do something similar. He does switch out, and I think Conkiller could come in. And, um, isn't too bad getting this guy toxic, but we miss. Uh, this is getting frustrating, though. We know he's four attacks. And we know about the assault vests. Poison jab, pop the Kebby out, which is good. I think we move less freely here. Just withdraw back to Mr. Rhyme, I guess. Come 
Come on, special attack decrease. Nope. I feel I am on the spot though. I'm not particularly fond of this. A little something I was kind of worried of too, so it's it's alright, but it's frustrating. Right grass notch, that's cool. We are not doing well. We are absolutely not doing well. Wait, he did stay in. That I didn't want to see. Nope, I'm just faster. Goes to gains. Right, this is my chance. Go for knockoff, please. Knock off, yes! As it is not Flame Orb, we're absolutely gonna take this. Nice. It didn't KO though, but you know, I'll take it. <laughs> cool, alright. At least some lead way, you know, I'll, I'll take anything here. Right, switches into Venom. That's fair. And they took that like a champ, didn't he? Now, I really hope he's in Scarfed. Um, So right, we get Rapion out of the way, which is great. So we get the counter, we get the um, Destiny Bond, so I think Gengar did everything it should. And um, we'll take it from there. Right, Ronaldinho. There we go. I'll just go directly for that real quick. I really hope he isn't scarfed. I think if he scarves, he wins anyway. Yeah, there we go. High jump kick, and he's absolutely scarfed. I did fed that. So we'll see what happens, but yeah, like I said, I did fear that this was something I was going to be forced to fend off against, and it's okay. So right now I gotta hope that I'm somehow faster. I am, which is good. The free strike does. Not that much, actually. So go for rest here. Um, Basically, I lose to Cinderace anyway, but I want to prolong this as long as I can.
I don't believe you want to take too big of a risk here. I think I beat Sin Rays as long as Rhyperior is somehow alive. Right, that's one. He keeps staying in, which is kind of good at the same time I'm being very stressed out. Right, get a third call line, cool. I don't know what I should have done differently. I guess bring in, like I had an idea that I really, really wanted to do, but I just, I, I wouldn't say I failed to do it, but rather I was so scared of trying to do it. And uh, my idea was um, having an orbital with Augaberry and actually just be um, um, stored power. Really relying heavily on uh, the, the Gengar to break through against the Drapion. Would have been successful with that? I don't know. I think that is what's bothering me. Let's see, Photon Geisha does how much? That oh, we're good. For now. Oh, it keeps coal mining. So, right at this point, I actually think only Cinderace is the main issue. Because right now, even Rotom can't beat us. Alright, there is the Moonblast. So, at least if we lose, it's a 4-0. Oh, we can do that. I expect Cinderace to come in and try to gunk shot me. Voltergeist. So the heavy artillery. We just rest them. I have no idea why it doesn't bring um, Cinderace. As of right now, I'm telling myself we're in a good spot. But I am <laughs> just as confused as you guys right now for whether, what, what I have even could do. Right, so it's in Scarf at least. So he could bring in Conk, hoping I don't get a Moonblast. Goes to Mystic Crime. Get the Moonblast. Well, we're still kind of in a rough spot, because this means that Kongelder has a free hit on us if we screw up. We should be faster in Conk anyway, but that's about it. So there's gains. Let's see. Come on, Celentria. We need you, or I need you. Moonblast, 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 Moonblast. No, you screw up. Let's see how much a poison jab will do. Ooh, damage for sure. I 
Okay. Right, back to Wolfergeist. I gotta hope that Leaf Store doesn't kill us, but we know it does. He could have missed, also. Oof! Oof, that's awful. We still did good, like, I am... I am okay with that, it's... I was happy with how things went, but... It was all based on luck after all, so... You know what? We'll take it. Right, goes a Volt Switch. Maybe I should have... No, absolutely. I have one idea, but I, I should have done it anyway. So Ronaldinho comes in, and this is the high jump kick guy, and uh, I can't beat him. There is really nothing to it. I can only hope he U-turns. But he should always go for high jump kick. I can only hope for a miss. We do the Shuffleberry though, so hopefully we can survive it. Actually, let's try that. You're gonna go for high jump kick, and we're going to try to take that. I don't know how, but please do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need something. Oh, yes! This is, this is insane, isn't it? Come on, do it! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Oh! Okay, we're survive the poison too. We do! On oh, 1 HP, we do! That means we will get a hit in. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I gotta do this. Um, oh, this is getting tighter. This is getting tight. This, those are not words I want to say. But that's how I feel. Volt switch. Good. I'm forcing you to leave store me. And I'm gonna go for that metal burst, hoping I survive. Which I shouldn't, but that's my plan. Keeps Volt switching. Why are you Volt switching? There we go, Leaf Storm. Yeah, no way. Ah, uh, should probably go for a Mega Horn then. So right, it's toxic against this. Oof. No, we outspeeded. No, 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 no. no. I, for I forgot I built bulky. Fuck! I messed up. Oh, I messed up badly. Did I die? No, 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 no. Fuck! That was still good though. <laughs> good game, Odo. Really. I really mean that. I had no idea how to beat you, and I still think it came down to the freaking wire. Ah, oh, I should have switched out there. I knew I should have done it. 
I forgot I was a bulky hydragon. I didn't I didn't creep for Odom, you know what I creep for? I creep for Duraldon. He's base 85, not base 86 of the road to him. Oh, it's my mistake, but still, that was still really exciting, so... I'll take that 1-0 as, um, well, as a man. No, but really, it was a fun game. I, I liked this. I didn't think I was going to recover. Um, of course, you know, it goes without saying that it would have been a lot better had um, Pre-Marina Moonblasted that Conkeldur. But uh, for what it's worth, I didn't think I was going to recover as well as I did. So a 1-0 no loss is absolutely all right. So for everybody watching, thank you for doing your so. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this game, I really do. And uh, yeah, you know, check of course on automatic side here, as I believe he must have been really stressed about that pre-marina. So uh, yeah, take care, one really.